this up. What's up? Flaunt did. God did. The money made me do it, did. What's up? What's up, y'all? Tesla car was a good move. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, come on now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You gotta be a fool to short it. Ah <laughs> oh, man, this was funny when it was down here. You gotta be a fool to short it right here. Like, even if you do think it's gonna go down, why would you short it right here? You see Apple power hour move? Man, Apple is probably Apple is probably one of the best ones that you can get into. Like I'm not even kidding. Apple just dipped by on Apple. I'm mad. I, I'm mad. I was trying to get it. Um, I was trying to get it today. I was looking at contracts and it was at 182, and I just forgot about it. But right here, come on, man. This is probably one of the easiest dip buys that you can get. What's our take profit for Tesla? Hey, man. Whatever you want it to be. You know, you're already up. It's whatever you want it to be at this point. Me personally, I think. Um, I think Tesla. You know, I'll, we'll look at it. We'll look at it. But me personally, I don't, I don't like calling for bottoms or anything. But this is where I think Tesla bottom, like at that 177, which we talked about. I mean, it had that 618 bull divergence. Small caps about to go crazy. I mean, there's a lot of stuff lined up for Tesla right now for it to continue to run. But, you know, it's up to you, bro. Everybody has different portfolios. Me, But um, let's run the likes up, and then we'll look at some stocks. Like I said, this is a very this is a very important time to be paying attention to stocks. I mean, we we look at this stuff on a daily basis, but this is a very important time. Okay, a very important time. You want to squeeze as much money as you can out of the market at this time, because I'm telling you right now, it's not always going to be like this. It's not always going to be like this. We're going to have to switch to puts one of these days. Y'all going to have to sell some equity one of these days. But um, let's at least get the 4K likes. You still got the promo code for the year. No, the Valentine's Day sale is done. I took it off. Uh, I think at 12 or something. I don't know. I took it off. So if you got any, you got any. If you didn't, you didn't. But uh, let's make sure we subscribe. Let's make sure we like this video. And then we'll look at some... Um, we'll look at some some stocks. And we'll try to find some good good uh, good stocks to get into. Some good swing trades. <clears throat> some good swing trades. There's still plenty of them. Go to the link in the bio if you want to see how much anything is, man. But the next sale isn't until like Memorial Day. I think that's in like May or um, June. I don't know. But hey, man, that was what it is. Um, like I said, we need at least 3K likes before we get started. You guys know how these live streams go. 3K. 3K. And then we'll, we'll start looking at, you know, the Qs and Spy and you know IWM and we'll look at some good plays and and then um and then we'll call it a day but I'm telling y'all man this has been the most accurate like what we talk about on here on a daily basis you guys can go back on like the YouTube like please just one day one day man just 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 when you bored one day just go to the YouTube and just be like man let's see what, let's see what he was talking about right here let's see what he was talking about when he was saying the top was in this is a troll video, by the way, for those that don't know. The top is not in. 
but I just thought it was a funny title. In that whole video, we talked about buying the dip like two days ago. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, when you bore one day, just go through. Like this was 11 months ago. Stock market squeeze, pullback almost complete. At spy computer, yeah, yada yada. Stock market squeeze, preparing spy for 500. This was 11 months ago. Bull run is here, spy 500 and coming. This was nine months ago. Like imagine if some of you guys just sat sat back for those nine months and just paid attention. A lot of people did. A lot of people did. A lot of people made a lot of money. I made a lot of money. Spies at 500. I mean, 11 months ago, almost a year ago, back in January, February. I mean, spy was over here at 388. Three, right? <laughs> it was over here. Now it's way up there. And it almost happened, man. Man. All right. Um, first, I want to look at the cues. <clears throat> I want to take a peek at the cues just to, just to really look at. I'm not going to spend too much time on it because this isn't the Sunday live show. But I remember we talked on Sunday that this is the perfect area for you to go long on it. It just so happened to be the perfect area for you to go long on it. And the reason we said that, you guys got to learn your fibs, man. I come on here and I teach and I tell y'all, but you also have to try to learn for yourself as well. We told you this was the perfect level because why would you short it at 425? If you didn't catch this short right here, why would you short it right here? That just doesn't make any sense. So you saw spy absolutely go, or you saw the cues go crazy right there. Um, it also matched up with the confluence with the 21 EMA, which you've seen it bounce from so many times. So many times. So the Q still looks very good in my opinion. I would say I would say until it starts close below 425, that's when you want to be a bit more wary. But until then, I mean, let's see. Yeah, like maybe you could short it below 433, like if you see something. But look, man. I don't even find this stuff interesting. What I find interesting is the individual plays that we can get into that, that are that are given a good entry. Right? So put in the comments what stocks you guys want to look at and we'll we'll look at we'll look at the stocks. We talked about Chris Pratt on the thirteenth at seventy nine. It ran to ninety, eight ninety and eighty nine. Yeah man. Yeah man. Yeah man. And it even gave you that pullback that day. It even gave you a pullback that day. We were like, come on, y'all. We had you gotta look at CRISPR. It's giving you a good entry right there. And it just it just ran up crazy. CRISPR, in my opinion, it looks like it's ready to continue to go. I mean, this thing's breaking out of a huge range, and that's that's the kind of market that we're in that we're in right now. Let's look at SE. Oh my man, come on, man. This is the kind of market that we're in right now. SE. I might get into it on Friday, like tomorrow. Now we're already in it. Like if you're in the Discord, you look at the long-term holds. Like we're already in SE. We're in we're in the June 60 calls. They're already up like 30, 40, 50 percent. Um, but just in the shorter time frame, this still looks absolutely amazing. I mean, the trend has shifted. It broke out from this huge consolidation period that you had for three for three whole months right here. It broke out from there retested it re it gave you the retest a couple days ago what were you doing when it was 41 dollars first of all that would have been a very good entry but now i mean this this just looks to me like a stock that i wouldn't even look to day trade and i would just look to sit in for for a decent amount of time and the reason that is is because it has massive bull divergence okay on a monthly time frame to where you can buy the june calls like we did and you can sit on them. You can buy the May calls. You can buy the July calls and just sit on them. Okay, so for SE, to me, I, I, it's probably, like I said, it's probably one of my favorite ones. It's probably one of my favorite ones. It's been one of my favorite ones. I just can't. I'm already in it. I'm already in it. Like, I'm already in it. It's in this channel. It's just going. It's in an upwards channel. No reason to try to be short on this or anything until... Look, man, this is a stock that was once at $80 back in April. When the market was going crazy, when the market bottomed in October, some of you guys remember, like this is where SE bottomed at in October from 2020-2022. A lot of stocks bottomed over there. That's why we were saying stock market squeeze a whole year ago. I just stopped posting a video. I just started posting videos, you know. But we were saying, we came on TikTok, you know, a whole year ago back in 2022, December. And we were saying, yeah, stocks bottomed and SE went from $42 to ninety dollars in that matrocious through you know january 
February run. And now it's back at that level. So when I'm looking at something like SE, man, I love it. I love SE right here. And we can even scroll back further and you can look at what SE was doing. This is what SE was doing. Like, some of you guys forget, man. SE was a $342 stock. <laughs> and it just rolled a trend. So, I want to see SE do something like that again. It's probably one of my favorite ones. I really like SE. I really do. If you're in the Discord, you, you should already know what we're in. Oh, shoot. You should already know what we're in. Where is it? Let me find it. TikTok might have shadow banned me. We might need to restart the live. We might need to restart the live, man. They say he was giving out too much money. You told people to buy the dip and the dip got ate up. I'm trying to find SE. Anyways, we got an SE a while ago. And we got the June calls. I'm trying to find them, but I can't. trying to find them but I can't yeah yeah anyways we got the SE calls man those are going crazy right now and I anticipate to continue to go crazy based off of a couple things I just told you um, do you prefer monthly or weekly calls definitely monthly definitely monthly um, anyways move on Starbucks. Let's look at Starbucks, man. Starbucks been taking a little bit of my bread, but I think it's going to come back, man. I definitely wouldn't sell right here based off just the one fact that it's bull diverging on an hourly time frame. So if anything, you if you want to exit, at least wait for this bully, bullish divergence to play out on an hourly and then see what you can do with it. But I still like Starbucks. I think this is an undervalued stock. I think it's undervalued. It just needs money to rotate into it. And like I said, like I've been saying for a decent amount of time, why do you see Te why do you see Tesla going crazy? Why do you see why do you see TSM going crazy? If we go to the market caps, if you go to the market caps like ranked by each companies ranked by market cap, you can see that Tes Tesla and TSM are right there, and money has been getting rotated into them. You see Visa going crazy, JPM, they're up two percent. United Health, I think this one's about to go crazy. Home Depot, money's gonna end up rotating into something like Starbucks, and you just gotta be patient, man. Like, you just gotta be patient. And there's really no reason to truly sell this until you start getting some closes below ninety-two dollars. You know, but again, I think it has some hourly. It does have some hourly bullish divergence. There's no way I'd look to sell it until that plays out a little bit more. And even if you look at a four-hour, this this actually looks good heading into Friday. This is a this is a, a morning star candle. You guys know how much I love those. It usually is met by some sort of big old green candle. So hopefully we see something like that. Um, I like it. Today you had that TXN call that was fire. Oh yeah, TXN paid out and TXN actually looks good. TikTok definitely shadow banned me, for sure. We might have to restart. We might have to restart. But then again. I don't plan on being live that long. I'm gonna be honest. I don't plan on being live that long. But TXN, to me, look, man, this is what I'm talking about. If you want to find some good plays, like if you want to see what's what's about to happen next, and 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 like look at TXN. Some of you guys want to look at setups that are already mooned up, already going crazy, and yes, yeah, some of them still can go. But if you look at something like TXN. To where you had that little fake that little fake out right here but ultimately ultimately it just it's, it's still in its flag to me this was an anomaly an earning spike up that you had and then you know earnings dump but ultimately it's still inside of its flag and we can sit here and, and and draw a measure move that takes you back to 188 you know around almost all-time highs and like I said it's a hundred and forty six billion dollar market cap so money's going to end up getting rotated into these type of stocks, in my opinion. I mean, it always happens. It always happens. Especially, like, look, look at what TXN usually does. It just goes to all-time highs. It just goes to all-time highs. I mean, why, why wouldn't it this time? 
why wouldn't it this time? So for me, I actually think TXN is an amazing swing trade that I'm looking to get into as well. But um, yeah, it was it was a good day trade as well. It was a good day trade for sure. Um, uh, why you say Starbucks twice? We just looked at Starbucks. What it freeze on you? What it freeze on you? Did it freeze on you, man? You look at Tesla, Nike, Run. You want to look at Run? You want to look at Run? Yeah, TikTok might have did something to my live, man. Please tell me you hopped in Tesla Tuesday. Come on, bro. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think, man? What do you think? What do you think? That you think the best? You think the best just didn't hop in? We hopped in Wednesday. Longing strike. 200 two weeks out this is a swing we got in the test of 200 yes they went stupid they went crazy they went dumb is it too late to get in it see this is what i mean this is what i mean man like some of you guys need to just listen to the right people at the right time and stop second guessing yourself man because look this is what this is exactly what's happened we had so many people bearish on tesla and this is what we put on the twitter february 5th 10 days ago, when it was actually a good buying point, when it was actually 177, 180, when we were telling you to buy. It's going to go from short Tesla to dang. I should have bought Tesla. Come on, man. Of course we got the Tesla. Is it too late to get the Tesla, Amazon, Bitcoin miners still in play? Let's see what the Bitcoin miners are doing, man. Hopefully they got some sort of pullback. But I doubt I doubt some of these stocks, like if you think about it, man, if CLSK ever gives another pullback like it did, like an irrational pullback like it did right here, I think a lot more people know now that yeah, that's it's about to get snatched up. Okay? A lot of people when when it dumped right here, that a lot of people thought it was over. This is when we we're telling you to buy again. And then it went crazy, man. Those contracts are still going crazy. We still have five months left on them. I mean, so is it a good time to get into something like CLSK? If you're looking at dollar cost average and, you, and you're looking to um, build a position in it, like if you, if you buy, if you go light right now, like let's say you buy the, some June 20 calls and then if it goes down a little bit, you buy more. I think that's a good plan. I actually think that's a better plan than trying to wait for it to come get a better a better entry like if you're trying to wait for it to come down to you know thirteen dollars I, I would rather just buy right now and then just buy more if it does get to 13 just so you don't miss out if it does continue to just go up and not give you that pullback but um that's just me personally i'm already in so you know i don't really care i don't really care man i guess that's a no no, you should get in that CLSK. I like CLSK, but that's the game plan that I would have. OKTA? Yo. Now, this is a very good live stream. Because usually I don't get to see nobody's message. Now I'm seeing you guys' messages like twice. So if you're in this live stream, you got a lot more attention than a regular one. Because TikTok, I don't know what TikTok did. I don't know what TikTok did. But OKTA, this is probably one of my favorite ones right now. This is probably one of my favorite ones right now. Pro like, And we've been talking about OKTA for so long. The only thing about OKTA, <clears throat> like this actually is amazing. Like, oh my, like it retested 87 today it, it bounced off hard you look at the weekly this thing's about the breakout of a flag this thing is lagging like this is a cybersecurity that's lagging behind a lot of the other cybersecurities i just don't understand how this is so low okay well actually i do know why it's because they had like a data breach when they should have been they should have been like way up here but they had a data breach slowed it down a little bit like around here and then you know we also we also had that pullback around there as well. So now it's like getting his feet up under it, man. I look, man. 
the only thing that can mess this up, mess this whole setup, is is if the earnings come out. Is if the earnings come out and it dumps it. So the earnings is not next week, but the week after that. And me personally, like I really, really, you guys know, we've been talking about OKTA for some for, for some time. <laughs> It's finally broke out of its little flag. Okay, we could, we could draw a measure move. I, I think this could go up a lot more than what the measure move is saying. But the measure move is just saying it's going to get to 106, which matches up a lot with what you have in July. Okay? But also, this thing's beat earnings. Hold on, man. I don't see no red earnings from OKTA at all. You see all these green? Man, what the heck? Yeah, man, I, I like OKTA. I like it. I actually want to get in. Usually, never go on this early. Yeah, that's true. I might. I might. Um. Are you still holding BA? Of course. Lemonade. Let's look at lemonade. Lemonade actually does look good. When is earnings? February 27th. I like Lemonade. I actually really like Lemonade. <laughs> yeah, y'all, we giving some bangers to in here, man. There's some good, these are, these are potentially really good plays. But if you look at Lemonade, like this thing is, is stuck in some huge consolidation since October. Like imagine if you got into Lemonade in October through December and you were just hoping for it to go up and all it did was this and you, you missed out on a lot of plays but I like it I do like it but um yeah if I was looking at if I was looking at Lemonade I would definitely buy some time on it that's the thing like you gotta make sure you buy a lot of time on this because it could, it could chop you out the monthly actually looks really good though there's a lot of things that could potentially work out for something like Lemonade I don't know too much about the stock. I remember this stock back in um I remember this stock back in back in 2021. This is a stock that used to go stupid. This is a stock that used to go stupid. Let's look at yen. You guys know how I feel about yen, man. I told you. I told you what I like about yen. Yen is in its tight it keeps making the, the the main thing I like about it is that it keeps making these lower highs or these higher lows. You have one right here, you have another one right here, you have another one right here. It's getting very very tight inside of here, and I think that China news that a lot of like China took off like three four percent in like one day. Like China was going stupid at one point. I think it was right here, like in January, it was going crazy, mainly because you couldn't. They, they're getting getting stimulus and you couldn't like they stopped short selling or something. I think now a lot of people are forgetting about that news. I think it, I think it's ready to turn back up, man. I really do. I really do think it's ready to turn back up. It's getting tight inside of here. You look at a weekly time frame and it's bull diverging on almost every single time frame. Like we can scroll all the way back to where you had that first run, bull diverging, monthly bull diver. Like at some point this has to give. I like it, man. China's supposed to run a long time ago, hasn't? Exactly. That's why. That's why China's kind of, you know. That's why China kind of iffy sometimes, man. Yeah, we don't have a lot of people in here. We got 78, 78 people in here, man. And I get to see all you guys' questions. Tesla. A lot of you guys want to look at Tesla, but the thing about Tesla is, look, man. Duck Energy. Energy looks very, very good. But Duck, the only thing I don't like about Duck is look how much it consolidates, man. This is just ugly. Like, if I was to mess with any energy, somebody asked about Run earlier. I would rather mess with something like Run than, than a Duck. Because at least, you know, if energy is going to go up, you know Run and EMPH are going to go up as well. And run just looks a whole a whole lot more better in my opinion to where it actually moves. The contracts aren't that expensive. The only thing about it is that it has earnings in six days. But other than that, I mean, this thing came to the buying area in an inverse head and shoulders. 
I really, really like energy. And you have XLE on the brink of breaking out. <clears throat> if I was messing with energy or oil, I would rather mess with energy. Okay? I think a lot of people are going to get trapped with that oil. With what happened with oil and not realize that oil topped out. Oil topped out when the market bottomed out. Energy, in my opinion, still has a lot, could have a lot more room to the upside. It hasn't really gave you, it, it, it had, every single time the market's rallied, it spiked at 93 and stopped and then got rejected. This is on a three year, since G, since May 2022, this is on a two year rejection. Rejection in May, rejection in November, rejection in October. So, to me, energy does look very good. That means duck looks good, but... I just like different, um, like if I was to mess with Duck, I might as well mess with ENPH because it has better price action. Duck is just ugly. But um, anyways, let's move on. NEE, like NEE, yeah, exactly, like NEE. I love NEE. Yes. Yes. This is actually, hold on now. If this is in the buying area, we're going to have to get this tomorrow. Kind of is. Actually, hold on. Might have went a little too down. Bull divergent. Yo. This is why I go live, y'all. This is why I go live because I know we have people in here. We're going to end up finding some really, really good setups. And this, to me, it looks like a really, really good setup. Why did it get this big drop, though? What happened right here? Can someone tell me why this had this huge drop? I think maybe energy was just getting smacked at that time. But why did it have that huge drop? Energy looks good though. I will say that, okay? Because XLE looks ready, ready to break out from a two year long. Oh, it's CPI, no way. Yeah, any to me looks like you could just get some May or June calls and kind of just sit on them because it doesn't have earnings. And until 68 days as well so there's a lot that could go right with energy me personally I really like it I mean you look at EMPH is about to make a new high from that December high and um, yeah energy I'd be paying attention to energy for sure I mean there's nothing not to like about it Tesla down negative 20% on the year, and you're excited about a couple percent. Yeah, people like that, they don't get it, man. I know you guys want to look at Tesla. We'll look at Tesla. But what you got to realize about Tesla is we caught the perfect entry. We caught another. You, like Some of you guys don't want to mess with something until you actually see it start starting to go crazy. And we caught it right here. We, it was based off the bull divergence, and it was also in the golden ratio. All you had to do was come back the next day and do the same thing because it came directly back into the buy area again and then you could just buy calls again so now that it's rallied way up here if you missed it I would stick with scouts maybe or some longer term contracts but like at least wait for it like man like come on man what, what you <laughs> now I do think Tesla could have possibly have bottomed out I mean there's a lot that that matches up with that scenario you have it touching the bottom of the flag you had it in the golden ratio. I think this can at least touch the top at 240 and potentially break out. I mean, ener like we just looked at energy. We just looked at energy and seen that energy looks like it's ready to go. Now, one that I like potentially more is Rivian. At least Rivian, like you're getting a decent entry in a bottoming out pattern in a buy area. You're not buying Rivian, you know, after it went right here, which you're basically, you know, you're buying at least at a good, decent point. And, Te and Rivian usually runs with Tesla um, a decent amount of the time as well. It usually does. I'm not going to say all the time, but it usually does. So I'd rather mess with something like Rivian. Um, tan. Yeah, like tan. Like Invesco. So Yo. This is what I mean. Like this look. Like, come on, man. 
How doesn't this look good? Especially if it can start holding above $47. This potentially to me just looks like a big W. And it's the Invesco. I like Invesco stuff. And the, look, look, hold on. Let me see. Like, look at this. If you don't know anything about energy, first of all, you know by 20... Man, they're going to start rolling out so much EV stuff. They have to. They have to. Oil, to me, potentially is done in terms of it being the main vehicle. And they're, they're actually starting to put out some fire, fire vehicles, like some fire EV cars. So I think a lot of people are going to switch. I mean, look at this. Tan, whoever said tan, shout out to you. We know energy looks very good. And even if you look at, oh my, yo. This is even like hidden bull diverging on a monthly time frame. Like where are you getting this bottoming out? It made a it made a higher low, but this is making a lower low. So that should tell you a lot about about tan and energy overall. So just this and you know it's funny, before we even hopped on here, like maybe like three days ago, before EMPH took off, I was like energy energy and healthcare look absolutely ready to go crazy. And that's been the story right now. Energy and healthcare have been going crazy. Okay? So when we look at something like SRE, I think this is actually energy. This is an energy type of stock, and we entered into this. But I think there's a lot more opportunity. Like when you look at UNH, look, man, you guys know we come out here, the land of the free bread. We come out here, we make you guys money. If we didn't make you guys money, we wouldn't. Like, come on now. Nobody would tune in. Nobody would tune in. But we've been very accurate, and to be honest, like when we look at something like tan, like I'm man, my mouth watering because I know I'm about to enter into it. I know I'm good. I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna get into it, and we probably and, and, and you you know it's gonna be inside the Discord. Do not worry. But this looks good, man. This looks good. It looks good. It looks good. So, whoever said uh, whoever said tan and and um. The other ones we looked at, I like tan a lot more. I'm actually gonna put this one on there. But um, whoever said tan and, and the energy stocks and duck and and uh, that type of stuff, I, I think those are ready. Um, T and A, yeah, T and A going to the moon, man. This is just such an easy play that we've been talking about and entered. And man, if y'all seen how much I'm up on T and A, I'm up, up, man. And and to be honest, I'm gonna be up, up even more. I'm only gonna show you guys how much how much I'm up if it gets above what I, what I think it could get above, okay? This hasn't even broken out yet, but it's ready to. Like, <sighs> man, man, oh man, man, oh man. We're gonna see, man. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. But the last time it was at this level, the last time it was at this level, you've seen it gap up to forty-six and four fifty, and this is when this is when TNA really started getting its legs underneath it. Once it breaks above that forty-dollar level, I mean, you've seen it happen so many times. You see it right here. It got above that, like you see that little dotted green line. That's where TNA is right now. But it got above forty dollars. It went all the way to seventy-one. It got above forty dollars right here. Went all the way to one hundred and seven. Okay, it got like forty dollars. Very, like forty. Got above forty dollars right here. It went all the way to fifty-four. This is where it kept rejecting. It was like in a head and shoulder. Got above, faked you out a little bit. Went to forty-six, and you know. But forty dollars is very, very, a very, very important level. Kind of like what you're seeing, like you can clearly see it even right here. Like once this gets above forty dollars, that's when it really gets started, and it, you see it's been rejecting for for two years. Come on, man. Come on, man. If you don't got a TNA bag, like we've been taught telling you to get since it was at twenty six dollars, like yes, it was down here telling you to get a TNA bag, and you don't got no TNA bag, you're gonna miss out on some easy money. But don't worry, there's still money elsewhere. But yeah, TNA looks still very good. My price target, my price target on TNA is to 65 plus, 65 plus easily. But to be honest, I think IWM like a lot of people are over not looking at these. Well, I'm not gonna say a lot of people. Like I actually think a lot of attention shifted. I mean, we've been we've been on, in, in IWM since 165. We've been very paying heavily heavy attention to IWM and small caps. Since it bottomed out around 166, 167, and we came in here every day and told you to get TNA, etc. But now I think a lot more eyes are shifting in, into here, which makes sense because when you have the market go crazy like it does, when you have the market go crazy like it does, money shifts from big caps to mid caps 
to small caps, okay? And that's what you're getting. You're getting big caps, mid caps, small caps. And IWM is potentially breaking out of a two year a two year consolidation period ready to go to three hundred. Look man. If you don't got a bag in IWM, you're doing it wrong. But anyways, what are we looking at? So we know energy looks good, we know we know IWM looks good, we know you know crypto mining looks good. We know TXN looks good. There's a lot of plays out there, man. Nobody said Apple or Google. Nobody said Apple or Google, which actually is crazy to me. Because Apple and Google probably some of the easiest money you can get. The reason Apple, the reason Apple looks good, is because it's sitting. It literally is sitting in its buy area. Okay, this is where it's bounced at so many times. You know, Apple is going to continue to go up. Okay, Apple isn't a stock. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. You think? Come on. Come on, man. Like this is probably one of the easiest ones. Like to be honest, I'm looking to get into some Apple right here. I'm looking to get into some Apple because I just think this is too easy. This is just too easy, man. We know it's going to 220. So I don't even want to look at Apple too much. Like that's just an easy one, man. You already do Tesla. Yeah, we already did Tesla. But um Tesla looks like to me like it, it could have potentially bottomed out. And uh I think it's ready to go to 240. How much you up today? I'm up like, you know, I'm up. You know? <laughs> I'm up. You know what I'm saying? I'm up. Where is your support? All right, um, let's go to um, you already do TSN, Tesla, Amazon, Amen. What are we looking at? XOM looks good. Look, let's look at XOM. Let's look at oil. Okay, so oil to me. I don't really like oil. Like, if you guys have been paying attention to me for a while, you know I told you oil and 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 CVX and whatever it is, I don't think they're gonna make new highs at all. Like, and if it does, hey, I'll come on here and say I was wrong. But I don't see XLM getting to 122. I see all it all it doing is trapping people that are bullish on oil. And the reason I say that is because, first of all, the world's transitioning to energy, and second of all, when oil when oil had its big run, like. It went to all-time highs, and news news was covering it, and gas at four dollars, five dollars. When there is usually like two fifty. Yes, it that was around September, October, and then all of a sudden you had the market, you had the queues actually bottoming out around that time, and now you see the queues and, and spike on all-time highs, and all of a sudden oil can't even can't even do nothing. So if I was looking at XOM, I'm looking at that one hundred seven potential reject. Or maybe 111, like maybe it could get a push to 111, but I don't see this getting making new all-time highs. And to be honest, if CVX ever gets to 159, this is what I had for it. So I hope we see CVX at 159, but I think I think potentially like oil is just gonna get some a lot of people bullish on it just so it could dump it back down to where it belongs. Oil way up here. Oil. I don't know. I think this is gonna might might get a little pulled back, potentially. That's just me. I don't like oil, but who knows? We are producing more oil than ever we have ever had in history. Hey man, I guess we'll see. You know, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. But I don't see any bull. I don't see no divergences. I don't really see anything going on with this to make me want to get into it. Except like short term, of course you're gonna get these short term rallies. I mean, you had a short term rally right here when, in back in June and July when it went to 170, and then all of a sudden it dumped to 140. And I think you'll get a little rally to 159, 160 on on CVX and just to dump you back down. But I like energy a lot more. So whoever said tan, to me I like those. 
Now, if you want to get in oil and you think it's bullish, then go right ahead. You know what I'm saying? I don't. <laughs> I'm I'm wrong sometimes. Um, it was a fair value gap showing bearish signs. Boys. Yes. <laughs> Can you check Meta? Yeah, Meta gone. Meta gone. And uh, the time that have entered in the Meta was when it broke above 471. Right here, I mean, we know when a stock gaps up for earnings, it's usually going to continue to go. So I think Meta is going to continue to go up. But I'm not looking to buy it up here. We had 471 was the was the time to buy a calls for it. Was the time if it got above 471, that's when you wanted to buy calls on it. It literally gapped up above 471, which is strong. Retested around 472, this, the 21 EMA, and then just kept going up. So when we're looking at something like 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 Meta, I at least want to you know I at least want to pull back on it. And I think the you know I would like to pull back around 4 479. If it ever gets there. But up here, I'm okay. Coin. Coin is going crazy, man. Like, I, I don't even want to look at coin. Is this going to be on YouTube? Yes. I don't want to look at coin because it's already... Look, we talked about coin. We talked about coin. We said, yes, coin. Somebody asked, you know, I think... I think I think on Wednesday or Tuesday, it was one of these days. Somebody asked, is coin going to continue to go up? I said, yeah, this is a good dip buy. And also, coin is the best, most regulated SEC exchange. Like, if you're going to mess with crypto, which we know crypto is going to go up, you know people are going to mess with Coinbase. So, yes, Coinbase is going to continue to go up. Now you see it up $21 and going crazy, and yeah, I'm all right. I think it's a momentum trade. I think um, I definitely wouldn't short it. That's for sure. You don't short stocks like that. You don't gotta look at Bitcoin. You just gotta know Bitcoin gonna go up. <laughs> you don't gotta look at Bitcoin, okay? I promise. You don't have to look at Bitcoin. Just know, just know that if it does give you a pullback, just know you you want to make sure you get into some crypto mining, and you want to continue to buy Bitcoin because there's you think it's gonna stop right here. You think it's gonna stop right here, and and do this, and it's done. Nah, this is at least going to 100k. At least getting a lot more people excited about it. At least. Getting some more bag holders, and then you know it'll drop. But um, yeah, Square might be ready. Square has earnings. S SMCI. Some of you guys don't look at SMCI. Why, man? Like it's going stupid. This is literally going stupid. There's nothing to look at. There's nothing to look at. There's nothing to look at. It's going crazy. It's it's something. Look, I can't even scroll up. I gotta scroll up twice just to see. Man, yeah, it's gone. I would like if I was messing with it. I would try to just get some calls one day. <laughs> I would, I would try to just get some calls. I would never touch puts on it. That's for sure. I would never touch any put. Why? Like. I would never touch any puts. And this is, you know, it's funny. This is what we talked about when the market was was bearish that one day. And we were like, um, it was bearish that one day. And we were like, oh, yeah, I bet you NVIDIA and SMC, I bet you they're still green for today. Why? Because when, when the market's bearish for some reason or when people want to be bearish, they look to short the stock that ran up the most. And that's, that's SMCI, like you see. And that's NVIDIA. That's why so many shorts are getting killed on it. That's why it keeps going up. Like, I don't think you guys realize how bearish people were on NVIDIA, like, down here. Like, it was like, there's no way NVIDIA, PE, etc., etc. SM, they're saying the same thing about SMC. Yeah, there's no way, PE, uh, price to earnings, um, yada, 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 fundamental, fundamental, whatever they're talking about. Yeah, same thing with CM. And we said NVIDIA was going to be a $700 stock, and now you look at it $700. But anyways, let's move on. Let's try to find some good stocks. We found we found tan. We have some good ones. We did find some good ones. We found tan and and um dang the other one. This isn't a crypto. Let's look at Google. 
This isn't crypto, okay? I don't really I don't really look at crypto. I look at Bitcoin mining stocks, but uh crypto and except yo. Man, come on man. Come on man. This is probably some of the easiest money you can make. Google and Apple. You best believe you best believe I'm looking to get into some Google, okay? My boy Parth, you already know what Parth got into. Alright, if you're in the Discord, you know what Parth got into. If you're not in the Discord, it's time for you to join the Discord. Just go to the link in the bio. But come on, man. Come on. And it's just funny because I know, like, I just know. I just have a funny feeling that we're going to come back in two months and we're going to see Google and we're going to see people coming in here saying, can I still get into Google? Is Google still a good buy? Should I get into Google still? And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to come in here and be like, dude, we were buying Google right here. Google, let's just pretend Google's up here. Dude, we were buying Google down here. What were you doing when it was down here? Now you want to buy it up here? That's exactly what I'm going to say. All right. I just think Google's ready to go crazy. And to be honest, this is a stock. This is one of the stocks that are the big, the magnificent seven that haven't went to all-time highs. Okay. And do you think? Do you think? Do you think Google's going to stop going to all-time highs, or do you think it's going to go to all-time highs? And man, man. And you know what's funny about Google? Google's Google is one of those stocks that played around the most back when back when the market was very bullish. It dumped a little bit. It went all the way back up. It dumped like that's just what Google does. Okay, I think Google is going to continue to go up. The only thing, the only way you can mess up Google, somebody says Google September calls. Yes, yes and amen because bro, you actually understand what what we've been trying to do here. It says September calls. Yes, yes. <laughs> you took the words right out of my out of my mouth. If you actually want to make money on Google, if you actually want to ensure that you make money on Google, you don't want to play around, you would just sit back and get some. Now, September is crazy. I'm not going to lie. Like, September, uh, look, man, if you don't make money on those and you get the 150s, man, I might refund you. <laughs> I'm not going to refund you, but I think, come on, man, that's that's free. That's free. So, um, yeah, I really like Google. I really like Google. And, um, it's, it's giving you that nice pullback. It's giving you that nice pullback. It's giving you that nice pullback. All right. It's giving you that nice pullback. You have to love it. You have to love it. This is definitely one that I'm interested in getting into. I don't know about you. But yeah, I like it. Whoever said Google. September not too far out. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like that's 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 really far out. But I mean, if you want to ensure you make some money, that's that's how you do it. Uh, me personally, I, I'm gonna probably just get some. I don't know. I'll talk about it in the Discord. I'll see what I get into. Now. I'm probably not gonna get the September's, but yeah, I like it. I like the I like the I like the energy, man. September's. <laughs> I'm gonna get the September calls, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to guarantee, man. I got, come on, man. I'm trying to make some money. I'm not playing around. I'm trying to make some money. SoFi. Okay, remember we talked about SoFi back when it was down here. We told you, yes. Why would you sell right here? This is where you want to buy. It's going up. To be honest, I think SoFi still looks very, very good right here. It kind of reminds me of PLTR. Kind of reminds me of PLTR. Okay, PLTR is kind of sitting in the same thing. And to be honest, this is holding above that rejection level that you had all the way back in August 2022, and then February 2023, and then you had those rejections. So this 850 level that it's sitting at right now is very, very, very important. And to be honest, I think it's gonna pass the test, man. I, I think I think SoFi is ready to go. Um, I mean, it's sitting in this nice bullish channel. The next price target would take you back to, you know, the top of the channel. Okay. So if I was looking at something like, if I was looking at something like SoFi, it's sitting in this humongous, sitting in this humongous megaphone pattern. Like we talked about with PLT. Like, look, man, this is what we have for PLTR, man. And PLTR touched the top. We had this, man, like, back when it was down here, okay? January 29th. January 28th. We said, man, it's a bullish megaphone, man. There's no way I shorted right here. I would definitely get some calls. 
but it had it had does have earnings. You got to risk it for the biscuit, but this is where the, the TA matches up. So, a lot of money was made on POTR. I'm not gonna lie to you. So yeah, if I'm looking at SoFi, I, I like SoFi because it looks exactly like <laughs> it looks exactly like you know PLTR. I actually really like SoFi. So whoever says SoFi, SoFi, shout out to you. Yeah, like whoever says SoFi, shout out to you. I like it, and the banking sector is actually hot right now. Yeah, finance and whatever it may be, that sector is actually hot. Financial bull three X. The reason I say that is because I've been I, I keep missing these pullbacks on it and I get mad at myself every single time I do. That's how I know the financial sector's hot. Because I, I was trying to get it on this day at eighty eight dollars. I couldn't. I missed out on it. And then look at this. It's <laughs> why do you think why do you think some like a lot of people in the Discord are making money on Bank of America every day? Why do you think that's so? <laughs> Why do you think you're, you're making money? Come on, man, because that sector is very, very hot right now. And it's breaking out of a big, like, Bank of America is going to continue to go up. It's breaking out of a huge, a huge thing right now. Like, I like the uh, TNA and FAS financial, like, those are the three ETFs that I would pay the most attention to right now because, to me, they got the highest potential to go up. Like, this thing went up 5% for today. PPI tomorrow. Oh, yeah, PPI is tomorrow. What calls for SoFi? If you're in the Discord, we'll talk about it. Um, Cause I think I might answer too. But if I was like, you know, you know how we do, man. I'm not looking about next week. I will tell you that. Tesla treated me cool. Give me, give me my money back today, <laughs> bro. Man, a lot of you guys don't look at Tesla now, man. It's funny. It's funny. We're making so much money on Tesla. So much money on Tesla, man. Everybody got different portfolios, but you got to realize, man, we were messing with Tesla. Let me see, man. We got a Tesla. We got a Tesla February 5th. Tesla calls, March 15th, 220s. March 15th. You still have one month on these. These are up like 300%. But yeah, we're going stupid. Like, I'm trying to tell you guys that. Everybody's portfolio is different. Some of you guys might have held it. Some of you guys might have sold it. Some of you guys sold it putting it in something else. Some of you guys bought farther, further out contracts. Like, the whole goal of WAM is not so we can handheld you. I mean, we handhold you a little bit just because we tell you when we're entering and exiting it. But you got to take your portfolio very seriously. If you want to make it anyway, if you actually want to make some money anyways, you can't just come in every day and be like, man, I'm going to sell this, I'm going to sell this, I'm going to get into some zero days to expiration, I'm going to try to flip the money. Um, I mean, you can, it's your portfolio, I really don't care. But. Anyways, before we move on, let's make sure you guys are following the Twitter, okay? Follow the Twitter, man. The link is in the bio, just click the X icon. Uh, we post the best setup. So especially if you missed any setups that we talked about, we've been live for over over an hour, I think. If we we've, we've been live for that long, if you missed any potential setups, if you missed any potential setups, follow the Twitter. Okay, and we're not gonna move on until we get two thousand nine hundred and and eighty five. Okay, we're almost at three thousand, man. If we get three thousand, we got two hundred people in here. If we get three thousand, come on, man. I might. You know what I'm saying I might. I don't know what I might do. Well, let's follow Twitter. We just need six followers and then we'll move on. Somebody said, you think CLSK continues pushing? Is the sky blue? How much are you up? Tia, SL, Futu. PLTR done or keep pushing? Um, it's at the top of that megaphone, so I think it's going to, I don't know. I'm following already. <laughs> I'm falling already. <laughs> if you're falling already, thank you. If you're falling already, thank you, man. But we need five more. Come on, y'all. Oh, shoot. We need three more. Just go to the link in the bio, click the little um, X icon, and we'll move on. Just follow. Appreciate it, Jeffrey. 
Let's make this money, man. If you miss any setups, you want to follow the Twitter. We're going to post the best one. We're definitely going to post Tan on there. We're definitely going to talk about energy on there. Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. We're definitely going to talk about some energy. We need three followers, man. We need three followers, and then we can move on. But, um, man, aren't you guys excited? Like, we're in the biggest, we're in the biggest bull run that we've seen in a while. Nah, I mean, you guys just seen it like 2020, 2021, but at least the people that missed out on 2020, 2021 that are coming in, that, that were new in like 2022, at least they get to experience it, you know? Now you just got to make sure you listen to the right people, okay? If you if you listen to the WAM and you and you hanging out with people on WAM, you're listening to the right people, okay? Because we've been on top of this since it was, since down here, bro. We've been telling you to buy since down here. Not even kidding. Down here. So you listen to the right people if you hear it. But, um, <clears throat> um, let's move on. Hi boys, is it usually around this time you go live? No, like I kind of go live randomly Monday through Friday. I'll try to put more in the Discord like when I go live, but Monday through Friday, like I kind of just go live randomly. But Sunday is for sure at 7, 7 to 8 p.m. is when, I, when you'll definitely see me live. I try to keep the Sunday live show consistent, but Monday through Friday, I kind of just go live whenever I got time. You should put your Twitter link on your profile here on TikTok. Dang, I should, huh? All right, let's move on. Let's move on. Um, damn, we got some bears in here. Target? Oh, we have to look at Target. Food to. Target to me is probably is is a, a very easy one that you can get into, especially now that is, man. Some of you guys remember Target when we took that when we took that earnings play and it went stupid, it made so much money. But um, if you look at Target, I think this is a very good consolidation period where you could potentially get some further out calls for it. The main reason I'm saying that is because we we looked at the monthly not too long ago. Okay, if February February continues to close above this one this 140 mark okay this 140 mark is very very important for something like target to continue to close above on a monthly time frame because this is where you've seen it bounce right here and go all the way to 175 target first of all man if you don't if you don't think targets about to come on man target is target target is target target is very very good this isn't no slouch company this is a company that goes to all-time highs all the time right <clears throat> so when you look at target it needs to stay above 140 the reason i say that is because you, you this is where you got those bounces right here this is where it finally broke down and kept rejecting and you know you finally got that bottoming around here but now you see it closing above there three times like three months is closing above the 140 so if it was me i would look to get like equity on target is very good but you can also probably get some leaps on target as well and do good as well like if i was looking at target i probably we are I already made my money on target so i'm not looking at it as much like we cooked up when it was out down here at 107 and it ran all the way up to 140 and we just cashed out like that was man like i would i, I, I would scroll up in the profits but i'd have to scroll up for a while but um yeah target looks good i would look for like some may 150s or something one may 155 i think target's not done matter of fact i think target's probably one of the strongest stocks we have right now target's easy like that's just easy what does it mean get equity it just means buy um shares dang futu going stupid futu about to go stupid i i like futu and i like china in general that's why we got in a yen or that's why yeah, that's why we take some yen calls in the Discord that you see, that you can look at. But, um, yeah, Futu to me looks very good. I mean, it's 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 in that buying area. It, it that mean, When it's in this buying area, that means it just retested that run that it had. Okay? This whole run that it had from $36 to 66 now it's giving you that really, this is the perfect correction that it could give you. There's no better correction, okay, than right here. So, I actually really like Futu. I like China in general. Um, but yeah, Futu looks good to me. I mean, when does it have earnings? 
Earnings March 20th, so you don't got to worry about it too much. And it's basically doing what Yen is doing. It's just making those lower, like it's breaking out. Like, yeah, this looks really good, man. It looks like it's going to continue, okay? It's making these lower highs, so there's absolutely no way I'd even look to be bearish on something like, like, um, like Futu until it starts closing below forty five dollars, right? Um, and we and we know China, China in general, like isn't, you know, you, we know what China does. We know what China has been doing, but who knows, man? With the with the market rallying and us going crazy, you know, could put China put, could potentially turn around? We don't know. We don't know. You don't know what China could do. So, if you're not into any China, I would definitely try to diversify. That's why we got in again. That's why we're in yen. Just because my portfolio, the way I like handling my stuff is I like making sure we're diversified, man. I like making sure if this sector go up, I'm making money. If this sector go up, I'm making money. If that sector go up, I'm making money. You know? So that's why that's why I really like tan as well because I'm, I'm actually looking at my portfolio. I don't have any tan. I don't have any energy. I mean, we have SRE, which is energy, but I don't got enough of it. You know, I want some tan. I want some tan, and when you look at tan, man, like, God, God, man, I bet you the contract's cheap, too. I bet you the contract's cheap. I bet you the contract's cheap. It's better to follow Twitter or TikTok. Hey, man, both of them. Both of them. You got to follow both, man. Because we post, there's stuff, there's stuff that you won't get on TikTok that you'll get on Twitter. There's stuff that you'll get on Twitter that you won't get on TikTok. There's stuff that you get on TikTok that you won't get on Twitter, etc. So, uh, and the stuff that you you won't get anywhere but the Discord. You know, there's just there. These are different channels. Like I don't do the same thing in every single one. Check Tesla, bro. It's about to rip. We know. We looked at Tesla already. We, man. Let me show you something. This was February fourth. Oh shoot! What the? This was February fourth. We told you, Tesla. Get ready. Tesla looks exactly like how the Q's looked when they had that huge dip. This is what we this is what I see for Tesla. Tesla looks like it's ready to it looks like it's ready to start a new trend, man. It just might. What calls on tan? You gotta be inside the Discord. You gotta be inside the Discord. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. If you're in the Discord, just wait. If you're already in, just wait. Well, I'll I'll let you know. Or just ask me in the chat. <laughs> ask me in the chat, I'll tell you, bro. Ask me in the chat what, what, which ones I'm looking at. Schwab, like, yeah, whoever says Schwab looks amazing. Like, we just looked at the financial sector. We just looked at the financial sector. And, I, and I'm telling you guys right now, finance looks very, very good. The banks, these bank stocks, they look very good. And what's even, even, what's even better about the bank stocks right now, and that I'm just seeing, especially on something like Schwab, is that in July, some of you guys remember that Matrocious July run? Like May through July, banks went stupid. You look back over here, it never got above back above that July high because banks kept getting bad, um, bad, um, um, bad news. Like interest rates are staying the way they are, and that that's actually bearish for banks. But what you have to know is, just because that news came out, that actually means it's going to be end up being bullish because what you got to realize is that interest rates are going to cut eventually. So on that bad news, it dumps. But now that the news is out, people already know it's buy the rumor, sell the news. You don't, you don't, you know, you don't sell the rumor, buy the, buy the, buy the news. Or in this case, you wouldn't get puts when the news came out, which is probably why we see banks running right now is because people probably bought puts because they, because they said interest rates were going to stay the same. And that's bearish for puts generally, or that's bearish for banks generally. So that's why you got those little bank dumps. Like when did they say it? CPI came out and, and. CPI or the inflation went up, so people thought interest rates were gonna. Um, people thought interest rates were gonna. Or inflation went up, so people thought interest rates were gonna stay the same. Okay. And I bet you people bought puts from that, but not knowing, not knowing that you don't buy the you don't buy the news, you don't buy puts on the news. <laughs> I hope that made sense, man. I hope that made it. it, it I hope that made that probably made a lot of sense for people that know what I'm talking about. But um, the reason banks look still very bullish and why you know we looked at Schwab is because FA FAS looks very bullish as well. Okay, 
banks look bullish. We know there's going to be some sort of interest rate cuts, and that's very bullish for banks. All right? We just don't know when. So we just don't know when. But I guarantee you, look, man, I'm not going to guarantee you, but when I bet you when the news comes out that, that we're going to cut rates, I bet you banks just start flying. I bet you just see them going stupid. But that's probably where you want to get out at. <laughs> that's probably where if you had calls, you might want to consider taking a little bit of profit. You know, like you might want to get a little bit. Well, tan calls going to long-term plays, you think? Um, it depends. It depends. I think I might just because I want to sit on something like that, but we'll see. What's your prediction on PPI today? Did you pray today? What do you know about tan? Hey, what you doing in tan, man? What you doing in tan, bro? See, man? What you doing in tan, man? He said, what you know about Tan? He already in. Oh, man, that's actually funny. That's actually funny. Yeah, we're looking to get this into the Tan, man. Um, thanks, bro. Quick 80% on TXN. Oh, yeah, TXN look crazy. Yeah, Tan, man, that got to be the next one. Got to be, man. We got to get into some of that. What are your thoughts on Tesla? Puts on Tesla for now. What the heck? Why did everybody ask about Tesla all of a sudden? What are your thoughts on Tesla? Why do you look, man? We if you follow, this is what I mean. Follow the Twitter. Please. Follow the Twitter. Because you're asking questions. some of you guys are asking questions that we come on, if you just follow the Twitter, you just, you, you, just, you already know what we think. Three hundred this year? <laughs> Probably. Um, let's look at FMC. Somebody said FMC earlier. <clears throat> and I'm actually very interested in FMC because you're getting this double bottom. You're getting this morning star candle on a weekly time frame. And I always tell you guys, those morning star candles are the candles that I absolutely love. And not only that is you're getting a good entry on this. Okay. You're getting it back when we called this a thousand percent banger out. Some of you guys remember. Some of you guys remember. We called out. We said, hey, this is a thousand percent banger, man. We put it on a Twitter. And then all of a sudden you came back and like in, in, when did we we put this December 11th and then we posted this January 2nd so you came back in like three weeks and it was up 438 percent we might just do this again if we get 30 likes 10 retweets I'll talk about it again FMC is at the same entry that we got in right here and I actually think FMC could potentially be bottoming out right here and the reason I say that is because you scroll back and look at how FMC bottomed out a lot of these times it always came through like a double bottom like a double bottom right here double bottom right here and that's when it started taking off that's when it took off okay it double bottom right here and that's when it just started taking off all right so and then you know this is just covid <laughs> this is just covid you know we're not even gonna do no nothing on that one it's just covid but usually double bottoms happen on fmc and uh i mean we see it like even right here you had a double bottom and then that was the bottom and it just kept going up from there so when we're looking at something like FMC this is something that I actually really like I like FMC potentially probably one of the best ones we've seen tonight and the contracts are cheap yep calls are cheap for FMC as well because they don't know that FMC actually moves like FMC is a move like I remember when we were at FMC in December um, last year um, this is a stock that went from $54 in one week all the way up to sixty one dollars you know and then you know this week you went from 65 to, to 59 so FMC actually is a good mover and when some a stock that dumps this much like you got to pay a little bit of attention to it you know that's why you got to pay attention to Hershey a little bit like it dumped a lot all right so what strike price would you recommend hey the only look man we got to leave something for the for the discord we got to leave something for the discord all right we'll talk about FMC inside the discord you still bullish on semis Absolutely. What's Soxo doing? CCJ? You went. Let me see. Oh, man. Like, this is something we told you guys. We said, please, bro. Please buy the dip, man. Please. 
We said, please, by the death, man. Please, man. Please, bro. Please, right here. We put the green box. We set it, we set it up for you and everything. We don't have $5. Yes, semis are still very bullish. Okay, that's basically like the... Semis are there. Come on, man. That's the future right there. That's what a lot of these digital things are going to be powered on. But CCJ is giving you a nice pullback. I didn't even know it was giving you this nice of a pullback. And you know what's funny? I missed this pullback. When it pulled back that one time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hitting bull diverges a little bit as well. Yeah. 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 I like it. I like it. I like it right here. I like it. What the heck is CCJ though? Non energy. Yeah, I like it. Double bottom. NQ. QQQTA. We, look, we, we've we been having QQQTA for quite some time now. Um, there's absolutely no way I would look to short it until you get some candle close below 425. But the main thing I'm paying attention to is that it hasn't reached its measure move. Yeah, you see the Q's going crazy and and it's still continuing to go up. But what we've been paying attention to ever since it, you know, bottomed out at 345, which we told you to get calls on right there. I mean, it hasn't reached its measure move at 444, 445. So that's the main thing I'm paying attention to. And what Q's likes to do anyways, it likes to overshoot. It likes to overshoot a lot of a lot of the measure moves, but um. Anyways, I think we get four. Look, we said that we said spies getting to spies getting to five hundred. We might have to change this to five fifty six hundred. I know, crazy, but I think I think that's what needs to be done. All right, I think that's what needs to be done. But um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this live stream, man. Thank you guys all for tuning in. This is a very this is a very informational very informational live that I enjoyed uh, somebody said dang you still here hey man money don't sleep and I'm sure you know that you was calling for spy 300 back when spy was at the perfect buying area like 370 you need to be in here more <laughs> you need to be in here more because I remember you man I remember you you were calling me a fool for saying spy was gonna get to all-time highs you know you know what I'm talking about he knows what I'm talking about and that's why it's kind of funny you need to be in here more, man. You need to be in here more. Of course we recorded it. Of course we recorded it. But um, anyways, thank you guys for tuning in, man. I had a great time in here. I had a great time in here. Um, we found some bangers, man. We found some bangers. If you missed any bangers, if you want to know. Yeah, you said spot 330. <laughs> That's what you said. That's what you said. That's what you said. But um, yeah. If you missed any bangers, they will be posted on Twitter. And, um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm out. Peace. Twitch. Spot at 600. Twitch. <laughs>